Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT for interviews and more specifically how you can craft some questions so that if you ever go one on one with someone, you'll know exactly what to ask them. So here we go. I'm going to be interviewing one of the best YouTube marketers on the planet. Give me 10 questions that I can ask him about his experience. This is just an example that I made up and I put give me 10 questions. I didn't put anything unique, anything special, anything he hasn't heard before. I want to start off with very broad and basic, you know, because there might be some that I would want to ask if that was the occasion. And then, of course, we can niche down from there and get uh, much better and more specific questions. So let's click on the arrow button and see what we get. All right, so here we go. What made you get into YouTube marketing and what has been your journey so far? Can you share some of your successful campaigns and what made them so effective? That's a good one, you know, if they're willing to share. How do you stay up to date with the latest YouTube algorithms and best practices? What's your approach to creating engaging video content that resonates with your target audience? How do you measure the success of your campaigns and what metrics do you find most important? What challenges have you faced in your career and how have you overcome them? Can you share some tips for maximizing reach and visibility on YouTube? How do you collaborate with influencers and brands in your campaigns and what makes these partners effective? What's your advice for someone just starting out in YouTube marketing? How do you see the future of YouTube marketing evolving in the next five years? So overall, these are some very good questions. The good thing about this is that usually when you ask one question and they respond, like there's going to be plenty more questions that you can get from that specifically, where you can just go off in a completely different direction, which is sometimes good, but it'll provide you with more answers. So what I want to do is write another prompt. Give me one sec. All right, so I put, give me 10 unique questions that I can ask, but make sure that they are very unique. I want these questions to be ones he hasn't been asked before. So that might be hard to do if someone has been interviewed a hundred million times, but kind of, I put that there just to give an idea that, you know, I just don't want it to be like, why do you like YouTube so much? You know, uh, how much money do you make? How long have you been doing this? You know, what's your biggest struggle? Whatever, like some basic common ones. So, so let's see if chat GPT can live up to this, uh, the command overall. Let's see what we get. Right. Overall, these are pretty good. You know, they might not be questions that this person has or hasn't heard before. It's tough to say, like, you don't know how many times someone's been interviewed, but let's go over them. How do you leverage YouTube analytics to gain insights and make data driven decisions? So this is a good question. If you're asking someone where if you ask this, the person's going to understand that, like, you know, YouTube, like someone who doesn't know much about YouTube wouldn't like phrase a question like this. So I like that one for that specific reason. Okay. What's your approach to developing a compelling brand story and narrative for your campaigns? How do you balance creativity and strategy in your campaigns and what role does each play? Uh, these are good questions. I like these. Like some of these might be pretty basic if like it, how do you just, you know, create a balance in your strategy of campaigns, but when you kind of combine it with multiple aspects, I think it makes it more unique. Can you share a campaign that failed and what you learned from it as opposed to before we talked about like one of the best campaigns? How do you optimize your campaigns for different devices and platforms such as mobile or TV screens? We talk about campaigns. We're talking about YouTube ads here. I just put YouTube marketing. So a lot of people forget that you can advertise with them as well as just creating videos. How do you handle negative feedback or comments on your videos and channel? And what's your strategy for managing online reputation? What role does storytelling play in your campaigns? And how do you bring stories to life on YouTube? Good question. How do you approach targeting and audience segmentation? And what criteria do you consider when choosing your target audience? Can you share any creative or innovative ways that you've used YouTube to reach your goals and objectives? How do you integrate different marketing channels such as social media or email marketing with your YouTube campaigns to maximize their impact? So I wouldn't say they're the most creative in the world, but when you compare these being just kind of anything to these, these are definitely much more unique. They stand out more. They're well thought of. And that's pretty much what you're looking for when it comes to interviews, right? You just don't want to always go in and say, why do you like YouTube? How long have you been doing it? Like the, the basic, the generics, but these would be questions that if someone was to ask you this or someone asked me like this, it'd be like, these are clearly well thought of. They put a lot of thought into it. So that's kind of what I hope you got out of this. That's why I started off very broad and bland. And then from there, we kind of went a little bit deeper and said, I want these more unique questions that maybe he hasn't been asked before. And you can do the same thing. You can just start off this way if you want, well, where you want them to be unique. You don't want them to be anything fundamental or random or just something he's heard many times. I think I've said that enough, but hope you got some value out of this video when it comes to using chat GPT for interview questions and kind of preparing ahead of time. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.